Natalie Portman. Israeli American actress. Natalie Hirschlag, known professionally as Natalie Portman, is an Israeli born American actress. She has had a prolific screen career from her teenage years and has starred in various blockbusters and independent films, receiving multiple accolades, including an Academy Award and two Golden Globe Awards. Born, June 9, 1981, age 43 years, Jerusalem. Spouse, Benjamin Millipede, M., 2012-2024. Height, 1.6 meters Education, Harvard University, 1999 to 2003, see more. Children, 2, parents, Avner Hirschlag, Shelley Stevens. <music> Natalie Portman is the first person born in the 1980s to have won the Academy Award for Best Actress, for Black Swan, 2010. Natalie was born Natalie Hirschlag on June 9, 1981, in Jerusalem, Israel. She is the only child of Avner Hirschlag, an Israeli-born doctor, and Shelley Stevens, an American-born artist, from Cincinnati, Ohio, who also acts as Natalie's agent. Her parents are both of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. Natalie's family left Israel for Washington, D.C., when she was still very young. After a few more moves, her family finally settled in New York, where she still lives to this day. She graduated with honors, and her academic achievements allowed her to attend Harvard University. She was discovered by an agent in a pizza parlor at the age of 11. She was pushed towards a career in modeling, but she decided that she would rather pursue a career in acting. She was featured in many live performances, but she made her powerful film debut in the movie Lyon, The Professional, 1994, a.k.a. Lyon. Following this role, Natalie won roles in such films as Heat, 1995, Beautiful Girls, 1996, and Mars Attacks. 1996. It was not until 1999 that Natalie received worldwide fame as Queen Amid Allah in the highly anticipated 431 U.S. dollars million grossing prequel Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, 1999. She then she starred in two critically acclaimed comedy dramas, Anywhere But Here, 1999, and Where the Heart Is, 2000, followed by Closer, 2004, for which she received an Oscar nomination. She reprised her role as Padme Amidala in the last two episodes of the Star Wars prequel trilogy, Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, 2002, and Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, 2005. She received an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in Black Swan, 2010. She received a second nomination for Best Actress for playing Jacqueline Kennedy in Jackie, 2016. Family Spouse Benjamin Millipede, August 4, 2012 to March 8, 2024, divorced, two children. Children Aleph Millipede Amalia Millipede Parents Avner Hirschlag Shelley Stevens Relatives Arthur Art Stevens, Grandparent Zvi Yehuda Hirschlag, Grandparent Bernice Hurwitz, Grandparent Menya Portman, Grandparent Trademark Often portrays characters that are rather smart, mature, and grown up for their age. Brown Eyes Lisp Sweet Voice Petite figure. Mole on the side of her face. Trivia. Graduated from Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 2003 with a Artium Baccalaureus degree in psychology. As the first day of Cold Mountain, 2003, filming fell on Halloween, Portman came to set dressed as Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz, only to realize she was the only one who had dressed up. She often broke down and cried off stage while part of the Broadway adaptation of The Diary of Anne Frank in 1997, where she portrayed Anne Frank, because of her personal connections to the events. Her grandparents lost most of their family members in the Holocaust, including her paternal great-grandparents, who were killed at the Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. Had to miss the premiere of Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, 1999, so she could study for her high school final exams. She has said one of the most difficult challenges of filming Black Swan, 2010, was her speaking voice. 
She stated throughout her career, so far, director Mike Nichols has given her consistent criticism on how childish her voice normally sounds and encouraged her to work with vocal coaches to make it sound deeper and more adult. The role of Nina required her to regress backwards to make her voice more childlike. She felt it was taking her back to a point she worked hard to leave behind. She was discovered in a pizza parlor and was originally turned down for the role of Matilda in Lyon, the professional, 1994, because she was too young. Can speak two languages, Hebrew and English, her native languages, fluently. Also knows some conversational French, German, Japanese, Spanish, and Arabic. During the royal premiere of Star Wars, Episode I, The Phantom Menace, 1999, she met King Charles III. The prince asked her whether she had also been in Star Wars, Episode IV, A New Hope, 1977, which had been released four years before her birth, originally turned down the role of an August in the film Anywhere But Here, 1999, because of the love scene between herself and Corbin Allred that required nudity. Susan Sarandon, who had co-star approval, said she couldn't continue the movie without Portman, so the script was rewritten without the scene and she accepted the role. Her years at Harvard resulted in the phenomenon of the Natalies, in which every underclass woman with that first name received numerous emails and phone messages from fans. When she arrived at a London airport to do reshoots for the third Star Wars prequel, a customs official going by her size asked Natalie if she was traveling with a guardian. Bears a striking resemblance to Kira Knightley. Knightley played Sabe, the Queen's decoy, in Star Wars, Episode I, The Phantom Menace, 1999. When in makeup, not even the mothers of the actresses could tell them apart, has a slight indentation on her head that was visible during the time she had her head shaved. The indentation was the result of being delivered by vacuum extraction. Named after Natalie Wood. Paid for all of her own ballet training to prepare for the role of Nina Sayers in Black Swan, 2010. Quotes. On Lolita, 1997, I don't think there needs to be a movie out where a child has sex with an adult. On Lolita, 1997, I think there's enough exploitation out there that it's not necessary to do more. Young actors often don't think of the consequences of doing nudity or sex scenes. They want the role so badly that they agree to be exploited, and then end up embarrassing family, friends, and even strangers. On acting, I started to do this at age 11. At age 20, I might say, this is enough. On violence in the media, we live in a violent world, but since the success of films like Pulp Fiction, 1994, it seems every movie has some violence in it, and it's now being used as a form of comedy, audiences are now being encouraged to laugh when people get their heads blown off. I just don't like hearing people laugh at violence. I also feel I'm a positive role model by not putting my education on hold. I want to use college to explore what other careers I might be interested in. On acting, I'm taking it day by day. Right now, I like acting, but if something else sparks my interest in college, I'll do that. It's so limiting to say, this is it for the rest of my life. There are so many things that interest me, I love math, science, literature, languages. On Lolita, 1997, let me tell you, this movie's going to be sleaze. I'm going to college. I don't care if it ruined my career. I'd rather be smart than a movie star. I don't know if acting is what I want to do for the rest of my life, it's just what I've, you know, ended up doing when I was little, and I've kinda grown up with it. When I'm working, they pretty much treat me like an adult, but then when there's a break everyone else goes to their trailers and drinks beer and I like, go to school. There's so much else to do in the world. To just be interested in doing films would limit my life. I think school is so much harder than real life. People are so much more accepting when they are adults. Danny Aiello told me, don't do television. Cute is when a person's personality shines through their looks. Like in the way they walk, every time you see them, you just want to run up and hug them. I've never tried smoking. I don't drink. I've never tried drugs. Australian Dolly, August 2000. Politics is easy to segue into from acting. I'm very interested in it, though I would never run for office. 
but after this, anything I do is going to seem very bizarre to me. Interview, October 1999 No, but I've been thinking about it a lot. I love acting, but I don't know if there's something out there that I love more. That's what college is going to be about for me, checking things out. Interview, October 1999 when asked by Seventeen Magazine what advice she had for teenagers going off to college, she said I would say practicing laundry it's so hard. November 1999 There is a lot lacking on the intellectual side and on the values side when being an actor. Seventeen, November 1999 Told the November 1999 issue of Mademoiselle Magazine that she wished she knew David Letterman because, he seems to be so smart but you never get to hang out with him after the show. When asked by German Cosmopolitan if she would like having herself as a daughter, she replied, well of course. I am a good person, nice, smart, witty, trustworthy, no nice people, don't do drugs and earn a lot of money. On what she likes about her parents, they have made it quite clear that they believe I can be great. Had my parents expected less of me, I would not be the person I am now, and I am very happy with myself. German Cosmopolitan, March 2000. I'm not planning to be an actress as an adult, I'm planning other things for my future. Venice Magazine, July 1995. I don't think I'd be able to deal with just acting, because I don't know if you get to use your brain that much. You do, for certain roles, but not most. Acting is more of a hobby for me. There's a big intellectual aspect that's kind of lacking, she says of acting in films. Right now, I supplement that through being in school. I'm not sure I'd be happy if I was just acting. I haven't explored a lot of other avenues. Hopefully I'll figure it out by the end of school, so I know what I want to do with my life. When asked about her prom dress, a designer is going to give me something to wear. It's the most amazing perk I have. I didn't have this undying need to be an actress. I didn't have that fire in me ever at any point. And still, I don't think I have that within me. I don't really know if acting would have ultimately become my passion as an adult, or if there's something else I would have found had I not been in the pizza shop. That's what college is helping me investigate. Salary. Closer, 2004, $1 million.